When we first started creating our form, we started with a simple text field where people could enter their full name, and we used another one for entering the email address. But what if you want to allow people to add more than one line of text, maybe to get their own comments, for example? In those cases, it's a different type of text field you're going to insert into your form. It's a multi-line text field. That's what we're going to do right now, continuing here on our How to Use LDZ Forms project. So we're still inside our form. We just added the drop-down menu. We're going to hit Enter a couple of times and allow people to add their comments. So let's start with a label. Please add any additional comments. And then we'll hit enter one more time. And right below that is where we want to give people an opportunity to add free text and allow them multiple lines of text at the same time. So to do that, we go to the insert menu, down to HTML and over to form. And this time the form element we're looking for is called multi-line text field. Now when we click it, it's entered right there on our page right in the form and you can see the default settings. It's a couple of lines of text and it's not very wide at all, but those are some of the properties we can adjust just by double clicking. Opens up our multi-line text field properties dialog and you can see the control identifier just says text area, but we can type right over that. Let's type in the word comment so we know exactly what the data is related to when we receive it. So in this case, it's gonna be related to comments. There's the number of rows set to two by default. If you want to use up more rows on the form, you can do that. So you're gonna display the number of rows you want and you can type those in as well. Let's just go to five. The columns you see here doesn't represent columns of actual text, but just the width of the box. So you can see what 20 looks like. Maybe we should triple that to 60. And then down below, we can also add something called initial text. So if you want something in the box already, like placeholder text, for example, you could add something like replace this text with your own comments. There we go. Now when we click OK, you can see it's a much wider text box. It's a taller text box. And let's preview this using Control W. There we go. There's our placeholder text inside the box as well. So people are ready to click right inside there, take that out, and type in their own comments. All right, it's coming along. Let's close up our preview. We'll save up our changes here before we move on to the next lesson.